been screaming What is up guys, it's your friend Ultra Z Plays here and welcome back to um Solve Case 2 The Queen's Helm and yeah in the last episode we had to complete well we haven't yet but we but we were pressured with the important task of setting the table. But yeah, um yeah we need to get these, um I guess. Uh so yeah, I think we need to place these like around the place or something. I don't know. Let's just put all of these around there. Can we no we can't place them on the floor. That would be pretty funny though. Just like put all the plates and stuff on the floor, that'll be yeah. Okay, um but we shouldn't really do that though, though, because that's a bit of a waste. Let's get all of these, and all of these, and all of these, and all of these. Okay, and then those we need to get. Um, okay, so that can go there. And then I think we need to do that, and then get that. Oh, okay. They're finished. I mean, oh wait. T H E Y apostrophe R E. Mhm. Mm okay, no one even cares about that. <laughs> Mystery voice. Hello, Antelope Chair Forty Five. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Huh? It's me, Jamie Fenton, the historian. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm considering the intercom system. Surprised you can actually hear me, considering it has a tendency to. Uh, the, 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 wait, where is he? I don't know. Uh, um. Uh. Not again! This intercom is... I can hear you again. Oh, well, come to my office on the second floor. Before this thing... I, uh, 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 you think to yourself, they really should... What? Okay, yeah, my throat is still sore. They really should get that fixed. Okay. See, I guess I have to go to his office now. Uh, where's the stairwell? Where was it again? Where was it again? Where was it again? Okay, uh, hey, why don't you get out the, yeah, let me get out the door. Um, I can't find his office, where is it? Um, okay, it should be somewhere around here. Uh, this map is, like, massive. I mean, like, this castle. It's absolutely huge. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, guess we need to go to that floor again on the stairwell. Pretty neat. I don't love you that too much. Okay, um, where is it? Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Miss Strader's office. Oh yeah, here are all the offices. Should be the study. Um, servants' quarters. I'm always gonna say it like that, and you can't stop me. Uh, the lounge. I like lounging around in the lounge very much. Okay, where is his office? It should be on here because the other one was command security center. I have a feeling we might need to go in all of these places. Jamie Fenton's office. Oh, there he is. The old... The... He Hello. The intercom system is getting my on my last nerve. Go next door to the security slash control center. Harold the electrician should be in there. See if you can get him to get this working. Then come back here so we can talk properly. They teach you about electricity and architecture, right? Okay, um, I guess so. But shh, I know nothing about that because I'm actually um, not, not an architecture student. I'm a detective. Shh. Keep it, keep it a secret. Okay. Um, wait, where was it? Was it right there? Yeah, there we go. Um, and it automatically opens. Hello. Excuse me. Yes. Can I help you? Yes, I was sent here by Jamie Finn. I have told Fenton time and time again that I'm working on getting the intercom fixed. It's on my last list to do's, but right now I have more important matters to attend to. Actually, I was sent here to help you. I know a bit about circuits. Really, what sort of training do you have? Well, I'm an architecture student, and we need to know about the layout of the ele electrical wiring in order to design buildings up to the code. Well, I usually don't get—I usually don't let complete strangers 
work on stuff, but if you can get Phantom off my back, I guess I could let you. The intercom controls are over there. Get the lamp to remain on steadily, and it should be fixed. Supplies in the chest next to you. Good luck. Okay. Uh, the chest next to me. Uh, I guess he's talking about that one? No, um, the chest next to me, where was I, sp uh, I'm so stupid, um, oops, uh, intercom system, okay, uh, oh wait, they're the supplies, aren't they, okay, wire, so cutters, okay, it's a hoe, not, like, they should make it shears, not a hoe, because they look more like cutters, um, like pliers, you know, okay, and a redstone puzzle, the one thing that I'm really bad at. A redstone puzzle, what does that do? Okay. Um, I don't even know how they got this to work if it was like all cut off. Hmm. I don't know, is that gonna work? I am the worst at redstone. Like, puzzles like this, not actual redstone, but like, yeah. These kinds of puzzles, we need this. Hello, gear. Okay. Um, can we put it on top of the glass? Oh no, we can't. Okay. Um, do we have limited redstone? How about that? And then this. Nah, it needs to go at it from the other angle, doesn't it? Okay. Um, let's get this. Oops. This. And then we want to get that to go over there. Come on. Work with me, please. Why is it not placing? I don't know. Um, can we actually, oh, oh yeah, we can, um, yeah, my voice keeps, like, messing up, cause, uh, yeah, I don't know why, let's put this thing to that, see if we can get this worked out, um, let's see, what's going on, why isn't this working, uh, oh, can we only place it on, hmm, I don't know what's going on, okay, oh, yeah. What's in here? Uh, we can grab some of this. Okay. Um. Oh, can we only, like, place it down when that's lit up? Oh, wait, no, we can't. Okay. Um. I think it's supposed to be over here. Um. Let's get rid of this. And then place it that. Oh, wait, no. I think I kind of messed it up. How about. If we go into creative mode, I have to do this, um, okay, see if this is gonna work, um, I'm sorry, it's just not gonna work otherwise, let's switch this off, um, okay, oh no, um, how many did I place down, I don't know, I think I placed down that, um, okay, um, how about, one, two, three, and then we get rid of uh, three of them. Whoops, okay. I did not mean to do that. Uh, three, go. This is kind of um, the, not the best way to do it, but yeah, let's um, switch back to adventure mode. Um, go. See if this is going to work. Wait, what's that going to do? I don't know. Uh, how about if we place that there? Actually, no, we can't. Um, oh, I know. We need... All we need to do is this. There we go. Is that going to work? Or not? Okay. Um, third creative. There we go. Bam. And then this can go in the trash. This is not the best way to to actually do it, but yeah, it works out just fine. Um, hmm. How about this? Okay, do that, and then one, two. Whoops. Okay. Oh, let's get that look back. Uh, I'm really disappointed in this. I have to do it this way, but yeah, just how it has to go. This is not the. <laughs> I don't know why it just glitched out in adventure mode. So yeah, how about that. Oh okay. Um, 
Mode, wait, game, mode, survival, adventure, wait, yeah, adventure, okay. Um, well, 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 guess you weren't lying about knowing the circuits. Thanks to you, Fenton, wait, thanks to you, Fenton, should stop pestering me about the intercom, and I can focus on more important matters, like getting all these security cameras hooked up. If every need any tools just let me know I'll be here so okay um so yeah uh where do we go from here um hmm all right uh I'm guessing yeah we should probably go back to our room and sleep to be honest um because it is getting dark all right uh where is our room where is our room? Where is our room? Where is our room? Uh, should be around here somewhere. Um, let's see. Okay, guest room. One. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, here we go. And then, just gonna jump right into bed. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um. So. I guess we have to go to, um, Jamie Fenton's office, um, wherever that is. Uh, let's take a look around here. Hmm. Where is it? Okay, that is, okay, we're in the wrong side of the castle. This map is pretty cool, though. I kind of like it. Okay. Where is it? Um, did I go past it? Sorry, this is like really laggy because I'm recording this. Jamie Fenton's office. Okay. Um, so I guess we have to. The intercom is fixed. Really? Thank goodness. Now my cousin Gretchen has already told you about a little problem. Am I correct? Yes. I, the helm issue. Well, yes. Well, most unfortunate that it happened. But guess it's to be expected. I still can't believe what I didn't notice it until you saw her shining it. Well, I guess she will be the one you report to on things. I only wanted to talk to you to give you th this. It's a brief history on the castle. Might come in handy. You never know. Testing, testing. Can anyone hear me? Antelope Chair 45, are you in there? If so, could you come to the main exhibit hall, please? Guess that's my cue to get going. Yes, goodbye. You think to yourself. Better check in with Miss Strader before I read this book. Okay. Which book? Oh, that book. Okay. Um, where is Miss Strader? Oh, we need to try and find where she is. Why are they all villages? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's take a look around here. So yeah, there's now five, um maps in this series, so yeah, that's pretty cool, the lounge, I don't want that, uh, where is it, the study, don't want that either, the straighter's office, yeah, here we go, we need to go in here, oh, we Miss straighter, we're, oh wait, no, we're not supposed to go in here, we're supposed to go to, like, wait, what did it say, uh, main exhibit hall, okay, um, looks like I completely forgot that, okay, um, Let's go down here. Should be around there somewhere. Yeah, right there. Uh, where's it gonna be? What's that? Um, the dining hall. I think it was out the front, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Let's head right here. Main exhibit hall. Okay. Um, hello. There you are. Good to see the dining room is complete. I heard you are the one who fixed the intercom. Very good. Have you gotten the book from Jamie? Yes, but I haven't read it yet. Well, you should read it. Why don't you take a break and do that now? Okay. Click. After you read the book for summary. Okay. Um. Author's note. This book is extremely long. If you want just the most important facts, skip to the last three pages. Okay. Hundreds of years ago, there was a village known as for sect. 
There was a small village where everyone knew everything and had a mayor, but their main job was to uphold the law rather than their rule. Near, near, near evening, one night, a great earthquake struck the village of Forsect. <laughs> it shook the land to its very core, leaving much of the village leveled. When the quake subsided, the residents... Uh, wait, when the quake subsided, the residents emerged from what was left of their homes. Some of them hurt, but none lost. Among these villagers was a young woman named Riddle, and a young man named Haven. Riddle was the daughter of a blacksmith. From a young age, Riddle was enthused with the world around her, reading everything and anything she could get her hands on. She also learned from her father how to forge tools and armor. Haven was the son of a farmer, spending time, spending a great deal of time working on his parents' farm. Haven had become quite adept with using tools and creating something from nothing. They were great friends. Having been dis displaced by Quake, the villagers were at a bit of a loss. Having lived in relatively peace for many years, no one knew where to begin. Having read about civilizations of, o of old, Riddle offered her assistance, but the mayor declined, stating, How could one so young know what to do? Little they know. How much she knew. That first night, Riddle and Haven went off hunting for food, while the rest of the town cleaned up what they could do could to prepare for nightfall. When Riddle and Haven were hunting, they heard strange voices coming from far off in the forest that surrounded the town. They slowly followed the voices and soon discovered a camp of warriors. They hid in the trees for a time, listening to the warriors decide if they were a friend or foe. It wasn't long before they heard the head of the warrior talk of looting the town since it was vul vulnerable. Riddle and Haven looked at each other and, without a word, knew that they knew they needed to warn the town. Running back as quietly and swiftly as they could, they made it back to the town in minutes flat. They went to the town. They went from townsfolk to townsfolk, telling of what they heard. But the mayor refused to believe them. However, the townsfolk knew Riddle and Haven to be honest and agreed to fortify in some sense to defend themselves. As darkness fell, the warriors attacked the village, but the villagers were ready in minutes. They had the warriors re retreating. No lives were lost. The town turned back on the mayor and agreed that Riddle and Haven should take the lead on rebuilding the town. A year later, the town was rebuilt on the day that day of Riddle and Haven's wedding, they were asked to rule over the town. Under their rule, the town flourished. To this day, the castle stands as a sign of hard work and dedication, leading to great things. The castle has been passed down from... Wait. Passed down from... Summary. <laughs> okay. Haven and Riddle were two young residents of the town of Forsect... <laughs> However you say that, four sec that what? <laughs> Both were very intelligent and skilled in survival. The town was struck by the struck by an earthquake. And earth struck by an earthquake. <laughs> Riddle and Haven offered to help rebuild, but the mayor said they were too young. That evening Riddle and Haven set out hunting only to discover warriors nearby planning to leave the town. They warned the townspeople who were then able to defend. Mayor lost his job. A year later, the town was rebuilt, and Haven and Riddle, on their wedding day, were asked to rule. They accepted, and the town flourished. The castle is now passed down to the eldest daughter in each generation, and is a symbol of hard work and dedication leading to great things. That was a really good story. Oh my gosh, that that should become like a book and it'll get millions of dollars on audible.com because no one bothers to uh, actually read books now. Okay, click. Okay.
Okay. Well, well, what do you think? Interesting. Of course, it's only a brief history. The complete version could have you reading for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. But I think you get the gist. After all of that, Riddle and Haven went on many adventures together, making the town well-renowned well renowned in the area. I can see that from the artifacts around here. There are many more artifacts that still haven't yet been unpacked, which brings me to your next task. In the storage room, on the second floor, there is a chest with some artifacts that need to be sorted into proper bins so they can be put on display. If you could do that, it would be a big help, you think to yourself. Maybe I should check out the armory too while I'm up here. Could have some useful items for me. Okay, so, um, yeah, where did she say we needed to go? Uh, in the storage room on the second floor. Okay, so I might, um, go, go there. So, um, yeah, we do have to check out the armory and then the storage room. But yeah, uh, that was a really cool story. I kind of loved that. Um, and like, while I was reading that, I kind of came up with this sort of theory, if you will. So, um, so the town had like an earthquake. Wait, so the, it said the mayor lost his job. So my theory is that that mayor was actually Spruton, and then he went on to like, um, find like that new town, and then that's how, um, Spruton was, uh, created. So yeah, um, where was the armory again? I think it was over there, but yeah. I might have to end off this episode here, so yeah, thank you guys so much.